This is part 33 of AngularJS tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how the controller as syntax can make our code more readable when working with nested scopes. This is continuation to part 32, so please watch part 32 before proceeding. Here, we've got three controllers, country controller, state controller, and city controller. Notice all the three controllers are injecting dollar scope object into their respective controller function, and all three of them are setting the same property name on the dollar scope object. Country controller has set it to India, state controller set it to Maharashtra, and city controller set it to Mumbai. Now, what we want to do is display country, state, and city names like this in the view. And to do that, I'm going to include three div elements. So let's flip to Visual Studio. Within our script.js file here, we already have the code that we have seen on the slide. And within our view, I'm going to include three div elements, each one nested inside another. So the outermost div element is going to display the name of the country. So on that, I'm going to use ng-controller and initialize that with the name of the country controller, which is country controller. Let's do the same thing with the other div elements. So in the div elements that, it, that is nested directly inside the outermost div element, we want to display state name. So let's set ng controller to state controller. And then in the innermost div element, we want to display city name. So let's set this controller to city controller. And then in the outermost, we want to display the country name. So to access the name property from the country controller, we simply use the binding expression and the name of the property that is attached to the dollar scope object. And then here we want to display state name. And in the innermost development, we want to display the city name. So let's save our changes. And when we reload this page, we should see country, state, and city names as expected. Now. If you look at this code, this is a bit confusing already. Now, you know, these three controllers are nested inside each other, and we have a name property here, a name property here, and a name property here. So where is this name property coming from? Is it coming from city controller, state controller, or country controller? Since I have written this code, I know that all these three controllers have got name property, and this property is coming from city controller. This is coming, this is coming from state, and this is coming from country. But for somebody new, this is already confusing. Now let's see how it adds to the confusion if we want to display data like this. So at the topmost level, we want just the country name. And then in the development that is nested directly inside the country development, we want to display country name as well as the state name. And then in the innermost div, we want country, state, and city names. So let's see how to achieve this. Now again, we are still using the dollar scope object. And here, so in the outermost div, we want the country name. So that's not going to change. In the div that is nested directly inside the country controller, we want to display the state name. In addition to that, we also want to display its parent name, that is the country name. Now, how do I get access to the parent controller name property value? To do that, we simply use dollar parent. So let's use dollar parent dot name. So that's going to give us the parent name property value, which is country name in this case. Now here, for the city controller, we not only want the parent name, we also want the grandparent name. So how we are going to get that? Now if I do this, dollar parent name, this is going to get its parent name, which is state name. But we also want its grandparent name, that is the country name. And to do that, if we again do dollar parent dot name, it's still going to give only the state name. So to go back to its grandparent, we have to use dollar parent dot dollar parent dot name. So let's save the changes. And when we reload this page, look at that. We get country, country, and state, country, state, and city names. Now, we only have three levels of controllers nested here. Now imagine if we are going to have like 10 levels nested. Just imagine how deep this dollar parent dot dollar parent dot dollar parent dot is going to get. And this adds a bit more to the confusion. And we are not really sure when I say dollar parent dot dollar parent dot name, 
to which controller name property it's actually referring to. This will be much cleaner when we use controller as syntax. Now let's see how things are going to change when we use controller as syntax. If we have to use the controller as syntax, the first change is within the controller itself. Let's go ahead and get rid of this dollar scope object. We don't require that anymore. It's not that you shouldn't be using it. You can use it, but there is no need unless you are using it for some other purpose. So I'm going to get rid of this dollar scope object and then use this keyword. Let's do the same thing within city controller. And then within our view, let's say we want to call it as, let's call it simply country ctrl and this one is going to be state ctrl and finally this one is going to be city ctrl and to access the name property from the country controller we use country controller dot name and to access state controller we use state controller so here it's going to be state controller, whereas this name property should be coming from country controller because we want its parent name. So here the grandparent will be country controller and immediate parent will be state controller and this will be city controller. So now the code is much readable. Now when you look at this, okay, country controller dot name, what is country controller? It's an instance of country controller. So this name property is coming from country controller. Now when you look at this code, okay, this name property is coming from state controller. This is coming from country controller, whereas this is coming from city controller. So the code is very readable here. Let's save the changes and when we reload this page, it should still continue to work exactly the same way as before. So this code is much more readable than using you know dollar scope. Thank you for listening and have a great day.